Good morning, everyone. Here we have a blown up Lindsay servo drive. And its model number is type EBS9324-ES. And you can see the explosion damage here from the power board. This is from the IGBT. And this over here looks like it's in the area of this flexible reeling cable. Now the IGBT is blown out. And when that flamed out, it wiped out all of these devices in these firing channels right here. Um, this, in my opinion, is unrepairable. Reason being, it's conformally coated and those surface mount devices are very tiny and hard to replace. Uh, so if we were to try to repair this power board, it might flame out after our repair. If I miss uh, an NPN or a PNP transistor in the gate firing channel. Uh, so we're not gonna try to repair this drive right here. But what I need to do is I need to pull the parameters out of the control board so that uh, we can install those parameters into the replacement Lindsay drive. Now, if, um, if, uh, or, or what am I trying to say? Sorry. Brain locked up there for a second. Or, uh, we can just replace out this control board and drop it into the new power board. We'll see when we get the replacement and how we're going to go. But we'll go ahead and download the parameters from the control board. Well, now how do you do that when your base is destroyed? <laughs> well, we got a workaround. I'll show you here in a little bit. <laughs> Let me move the camera. Hananim, oh no, Dayan he comes on Lord, thank you for this day. Here we go. I used to do this the hard way as far as powering up this control board without the power base. But uh, gotten a little bit smarter since then. <laughs> what I used to do was I'd apply 24 volts and 5 volts to this state connector back here. But now I apply 24 volts to terminal 59 right here, and it's ground to terminal 39 on the front panel. Here's the LECOM that interfaces the Lindsay drive to the laptop using RS-232 communications. Now let's power this up and see how we go. Oh, there we go. We have a green LED on the LECOM, and we have a blinking red LED. Now that blinking red LED, that indicates there's an alarm, which of course we're going to have because that part down there is not connected to this part up here. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to click on the Global Drive Control Easy icon here, and we'll bring up the program so that we can download the parameters from that control board into the laptop and save them. Let's get closer here to the laptop and you can see what's going on. Okay, this is the first screen that pops up, and we're going to cancel this right here, and then we'll click on this icon right here. That connects the laptop to the LECOM. Now we have to hunt for the drive, so click on the uh, drive menu, click find, and click search. 
Now on this particular control uh, board, it's at address 12 at 9600 baud. There it found it. And what's happening now is it's downloading the parameters from that control board into the Global Drive Easy program. This takes a little bit of time right here. So uh, if you want, you can go get you a cup of coffee or, or some tea or whatnot and come back when we're fully uploaded. And down here, we will see the fault that's causing that red LED to blink out there on the LECOM. Almost there. Where are we at? 94%. Okay. There. We're up. Look at that. We have H07 trip. And that probably has something to do with us being disconnected from that power base down there. <laughs> okay. Go up here to drive parameters. Go down here to write all parameter sets to file. And then we're going to give it a job ID. Job ID 7498. A. And let's click OK. There. You did it. The parameters are saved. Now, I'm going to power that control board down and we'll make sure that we have a good set of parameters. Okay, let's let that. There we go. Okay. Connection drive interrupted. Do you want to go online? No. Let's close this out. All changes to the set will be lost if you quit. Do you really want to quit? Yes. Okay. Now let's go find our program. Let's go to, where's the C drive? C drive! Oh, there you are. Go to customer data. There's our program. Job ID 749A.GDC. Let's click on that. Let's open it up. Open with notepad. There it is. This is parameter set number one. If we page down, these are all the parameter sets in that drive. There's parameter set number two. Ooh, that's a lot of parameters, isn't it? There's parameter set number three.
parameter set number four. Parameter set number five. Okay, there's the end. Nice. Okay. We successfully downloaded the parameters from that control board. Now when we get the new replacement drive in, we'll either upload these parameters into the new drive or we'll just swap out the control boards. We'll see when it gets here. All right, all. Have you a good day. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.